You must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. The mages must not be interrupted. Their spirits are in the Fade. The Fade is the realm of dreams and the land of the dead or so the mages tell us. Regardless, they are not to be disturbed, not even by Grey Wardens. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. No. Oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Let me know what you'd like. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Oh, well. simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Maid. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. Oh, nothing. Just trying to find a bright side to all this. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. 
bigger, are we? <laughs> Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Doc. I'll go collect who we're missing. This is Sir Jory, a knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this here is Davith, a fellow from Denaro. That's me. I'm a fellow. And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. The scrolls contain treaties promising support. Treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. <laughs> business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight.
over here. Who is that? Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Um, I... I've got to get out of here. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? Now, I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. That's true. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That is reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on.
as you say. What have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these dark spawn-filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Tis a tower no longer. The wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh. You fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. She's a witch of the wilds, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there, handsome lad. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. Let us be civilized. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Twas my mother, in fact. Hmm. There is a sensible request. <laughs> I like you. I'd be careful. First it's, I like you. But then zap. Frog time. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you.
Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dallas. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Do you possess a different viewpoint? Or do you believe as the others do? Oh, if you must protest so quickly, perhaps I need not ask. So much about you is uncertain, and yet I believe. Do I? Why, it seems I do. So this is a dreaded Witch of the Wilds. Witch of the Wilds, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> They did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True. They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Either the threat is more, or they realize less. Or perhaps the threat is nothing. <laughs> or perhaps they realize nothing. <laughs> oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. spent all that time waiting for, hmm? Hey, I'm following you, aren't I? Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Let me know what you'd like. sought to open a portal into the heavenly golden city itself.
So you returned from the wilds. Have you been successful? Good. I've had the circle mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had scrolls. They were both very... odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. Excellent. You will need that courage to face what comes next. Courage? How much danger are we in? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the blight. Yes, yeah, Sir Knight. Try not to wet your trousers until the ritual starts. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the first blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures. As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. This 
moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. It is finished. Welcome. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Such is what it takes to be a Grey Warden. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the king. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. you have there. Mabari, isn't he? We've a few ourselves. Brilliant breed. You're lucky to have one. Oh, we hear too much of that sort of thing these days, don't we? Well, I'd best get back to the others. We need all our hounds ready for the battle. Good to see you again, Grey Warden. Watch after that hound of yours, you hear? Logain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Caelan. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the young lord from High Ever I met earlier. I understand congratulations are in order. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. 
The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lights, and then... You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from to cover. To flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we circle of Mage... trust any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough. This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Logan. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Terran Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? Yes, so am I. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. ends here.
Let's cross the bridge and get to the Tower of Ishal. talking about man taken how the darkspawn came up through the lower chambers they're everywhere most of our men are dead then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves
I shall do it. be done. you say.
I shall do it. His breath. What are these darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. <laughs> hey, you're right. I guess there is a silver lining here if you think about it. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Tyrone Logain will be waiting for the signal. be done.
need to get to the beacon. The king needs Loghain to charge. Gain better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending on us.
Shall be done.
Ah, your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and we are in the wilds where I am bandaging your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. The suspicious dim-witted one who was with you before, yes. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. I... you were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. I will stay and make something to eat. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You? You're alive? <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? Then what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Well... We cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Wardens' duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. By ourselves? No Grey Warden has ever defeated a Blight without the army of a half dozen nations at his back. Not to mention... I don't know how. How to kill the Archdemon? Or how to raise an army? It seems to me those are two different questions, hmm? Have the Wardens no allies these days? I... I, I, I don't know. Duncan said that the Grey Wardens of Orlais had been called, and Arl Eamon would never stand for this, surely. I suppose. Arl Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Of course, the treaties. 
Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve, or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the Horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens, do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Oh, it is far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. <laughs>